Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. So today I just wanted to do a quick follow-up on some of my slipper orchids. The two in the front I repotted on camera, whereas the three in the back um, were potted up on the same day but off camera. Now, I picked these particular plants um, for several reasons. Um, one, their roots had already grown to the sides of the pot um, enough that I thought I could get them back to the sides of the pot so we could I could monitor them well. Um, and two, they were starting new root growth. So that seemed like good plants to do this experiment with. So we're starting off with this path. Um, and as you can see, it's got its roots have grown down into the bottom of the pot. Now there's still quite a lot of water in here. Um, this is Sunday, so these were just watered yesterday. I'm now getting everybody back onto the same weekly routine of watering. But what I'm seeing right here is the growing root tip is still healthy and alive. It hasn't turned colors or anything. Um, this root growing right through here appears just fine and this is what I really wanted to point out. Now, I don't know if you can see it, it, it kind of looks like there's a mold or a fuzz or something growing around here. Now this is a root tip that is stuck and is sticking to the melamine cup. Um, I've been watching these over the last several years and it's, it's kind of fascinating to watch as they sort of fuzz out. Um, so I'm going to keep monitoring this one for the next few days, but I believe that this one is putting down its velamen to stick it to the side of the glass here, and then it's going to keep going right on down. Um, so there's that one. And now we'll have a look at this um, Phragmopedium primary cross. And again, I chose this one because it was in pretty good active growth and it has much thinner roots than the path. Um, some frag roots are quite fine and I'm still debating on whether these are dying off or if they look fine. Um, so far they've been staying the same color green which is of course sort of the color that these ones came out so I'm thinking they're okay but this one here is turning brown so I'm not happy with that. But we'll keep monitoring this one. So we'll just keep with the um, Phragmopediums for now. And that is that species. And again, I picked this one because it was putting out new roots. Um, I had over fertilized it a bit and got some leaf tip burn. This has been turning a bit yellow, but I'm assuming that's from the new root. There's one growing sort of in that leaf join, and I got a little bit of a sunburn there on it. Um, but as you can see, this one has more path-like looking roots. They're a bit thicker, but they're still kind of thin. And again, we he see right here, that sort of fuzz coming right along this growing root tip. So this root tip is happy and I believe it's going to continue growing along and I think this one has taken to this setup quite well. So next on our list is and again I picked this one because it had two beautiful roots just sneaking right down here now. The little bits of black that are on there was the bits of the previous potting medium that I did not vigorously try to get off. It's, I don't believe that that's any root death or anything going on. Um, for the most part, the roots seem to have accepted this new media quite well. And again, we've got a growing root tip right here. Uh, got a bit of an air pocket there. That's my bad. And that root has died off, but this one's going to grow in and fill in that spot just well, I'm hoping. A little bit new to this pumice media, so I noticed a few air pockets here or there. I'm hoping that with the next watering I'm going to give them 
a little squeeze that that will help settle the media around those holes. And last but not least was a gift from a friend of mine named Jane, and Jane is in um, the Orchid Club with me. And she had very kindly given me this species, and it has been going along quite nicely in my care. Um, and again, it's just been a very prolific root producer. Uh, you can see why I picked it, because of all these nice roots. And again, this black bit is just bits of the old media that was stuck to it. But what I'm going to point out again right here, you can see that little fuzzy, hazy bit as this part of the root is starting to adhere to the melamine glass. And that root tip has extended since I've got it. So I'm going to say that um, these are happy slippers. Well, there you have it, guys. So 12 days later, and the slippers seem to not be objecting. I can say I'm really, really quite happy with the way things are going and quite so happy that... Um, to be honest with you, I have repotted the entirety of my slipper orchid collection into this setup. There's been no bud blast, there's been no loss of new growth, there's just been, you know, continued root growth, and so I think that's that's absolutely fantastic. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I do thank you for watching. Um, do subscribe for continued follow-ups on these orchids so we can see how they're doing. And thank you again, everyone. Have a happy day.